Today we're going to be relining your NC gas forge. When you receive your new liner, it will come with an instruction sheet to help you get going. The first step is to disassemble your forge completely. Just use a pair of pliers to remove the carter pin for your door. Use a half inch wrench to remove your bolts for your burners. You'll be using a 5 16 nut driver to remove all the metal screws from the housing. Now on the Mama open end models, it's important to keep the ends on the same side that you took them off because they'll have to go back on the same side. Now you're ready to remove your old liner. Just take a water bottle and spray it down. Soak it down real good to minimize any dust. And it's recommended to use a good pair of gloves and a good dust mask while you're removing your old liner. Now while you're removing your old liner, just place it in a plastic bag and just dispose of it as soon as you get it out. clean out any debris that's left in there. Now, you set the housing down. If you're facing the forge, it's down on the left side is down on the ground. Now you're ready to reinsert your new liner. This is how it should look when it comes out of the box. You have a new pack of screws and a new door insulation. Now, this is how it's packaged in the box. This is how it is to be placed into the forge. You've got your hearth brick, and your bottom brick with the gray layer facing this direction. And then here's your hearth brick. It goes in like this. Now, you insert this, these three pieces, all as one unit. Pick it up. You line your corners up to where it goes in, where it'll slide in. Now, if yours fits too tucked, too tight, you feel like it's it's too tight and it won't push down, you can take a rasp and rasp off this corner right here 
until it slides in easily. All right, once you've got it all the way down, you want to make sure your holes line up with the holes in the metal housing. If they don't like these, you can just tap them on this edge until they line up in the center. Now you're ready to replace your ends. Now remember, on the open end, on the open end mamas, like I said, the ends have to go back on the same side. These are the only model that we have that the ends have to stay on the same side. All right, if your brick is sticking up past the metal housing, you need to tap it down with a hammer. So that your ends will fit good. All right. Let's see. I like to start with the back first. Put your metal screws back in. Just take a hammer and line up your ends where the holes will fit. some sort of clamp. I'm using a cabinet clamp. But you can use whichever clamp works best for you. Just pull it tight until you can line your holes up. side ports. All right. Before you cut the side port out, take a magic marker and mark around the edges. You want to leave an eighth of an inch gap of, or excuse me, an eighth of an inch of the liner between the metal and your hole to create a good seal. I like to use any size drill bit to get a pilot hole for my jigsaw. Now, I'm using a jigsaw, but you can use a keyhole saw, sheetrock saw, whatever you have to cut this with. got it cut out, take your vacuum cleaner and clean all that up so your port will slide in easily. Alright, now just drop your port in. You may have to take a hammer here and, and lightly tap it in all the way around. Insert your screws. There we go. And get one started and then tap the front down. Alright, 
Then you repeat the same step for the opposite side. Now, if you have a Model 2, the, there is no drilling required here. But if you have the Model 3, you need to use a 1 and 8 inch paddle bit to drill out your holes for your burners. Now it's also a good idea here to vacuum this off and vacuum under here to make sure there is no uh, none of your liner hanging down blocking the hole. Reinsert your burners. Bolt them back down. done, we are ready to put your new door insulation in. Now for this, I will be using a quarter inch nut driver. Just remove your old screws. this insulation out. Just like that. Now you have your new piece. You just slightly bend it to where you can work the edges down in the door. Just work it all the way around. back in like that. You're ready to put in your new screws. Now when you start your screws, go just below your screw and squeeze in because you want to create a gasket right here all the way around the bottom and the front. It'll create a gasket so it'll seal off thing here. All right. Now you're ready to take your rod and your carter pin. Hang the door back on. There we 
go. And that's how you reline your NC gas forge.